Do you know who the most polluting country in the world is? I mean, air polluting country. Hmm? Well, here, I googled it before I started recording this video, and as you can see, it's China. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hope you're well. Thank you for joining me. You can see the other countries there in that list as well. United States, India, and obviously China at the top of the list. Massive air polluting countries. These are the ones that should really be doing something about this if it was seriously going to be undertaken. These are the ones that should really be world leaders in clean energy and all the rest of it if it was such a thing. But we have some major, major, major problems here. You know, we are way down the league table and we are absolutely obsessing with clean energy and getting rid of the majority of our CO2 emissions. Now, Starmer has just committed to a completely unrealistic goal. And if you hang on till the end of the video, I'll play you a video uh, of his answer to a question on this. He wants to, and he has pledged to reduce 81% of all CO2 emissions in the UK by early to mid 2030s. Now think about it. And by the way, I'm actually sat in an electric car forecourt right now. I don't know whether you can see that. Grid serve, I'm at Gatwick Airport, so it's quite fitting. All diesel cars would have to go. All unleaded cars would have to go. There'd have to be electric cars everywhere where which weren't gonna self combust at a moment's notice. Boilers would have to go. Everything that emitted anything of any kind would have to go within the next nine years. Now, I'm just a normal bloke, and I know from an unqualified point of view this is an unrealistic goal, and it's 100% bullshit. It's not going to happen. If you, like me, are just a normal person that can see all through this, subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think, and also hit the like button. I appreciate it. This is unbelievable. Now, I want to draw your attention to another tweet. This tweet is from another YouTuber who calls himself Retro on his bikes. By the way, go check him out and subscribe to him. He's an old sailor that does daily vlogs and comes out of a lot of sense, a lot like the rest of us. And one thing he mentions in there is the fact that they want to empty the farms out and put solar wind farms on there. They're talking about forms of energy production which aren't abundant enough and aren't solid enough to work and provide us with the capacity that we need to do everything. That's why in the United States Trump's talking about drilling because he recognises that all of this is years and years and years and years and years and years and years away. There's no two ways about it, is there? It's 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 a no-brainer. You can't accelerate to a point which you want to get to within an unrealistic time frame for for you know, the detriment of everybody and everything else. We're already seeing, and we have over the last few years, the cost of fuel has rocketed. The cost of electricity bills has rocketed. The cost of gas bills has rocketed. And in return, this has an effect on everything else. Really, everything else. Now, right at the end of this video, you'll see a screen, an end screen, which will have a playlist with all stuff to do with our bills, smart meters, and all that sort of thing. I suggest you go through and watch that because it will really open your eyes to what's going on. Meanwhile, have a listen to this that Starmer come out with. You've set out this ambitious target on emissions, but you've not really set out how you're gonna get there. What is this gonna mean? Is it fewer car journeys, fewer gas boilers, more expensive food? What is the potential cost to people? Well, we've set out the target, which is uh, an important, ambitious target. What we're not going to do is start telling people how to live their lives. We're not going to start dictating to people what they do. Um, but we are going to be clear that that involves hitting the Clean Power 2030 uh, mission that we've set out, one of the five big projects of government. That is vital. So we will hit that. Um, it is an ambitious target. It's a realisable target. But it's not going to be one... Uh, in which we tell people how to live their lives. 